back to an Invisible and Invisible Illness Awareness Project. This week I wanted to talk about my experience with LDN. First of all, what is LDN? LDN stands for Low Dose Naltrexone. Naltrexone is an opioid antagonist. Antihistamines can also be called histamine antagonists and they block histamine receptors from uptaking histamine. In the same way an opioid antagonist blocks the opioid receptors which can help if you have an opioid addiction or it can also work for heroin or morphine addiction. Typically a dose would be 50 milligrams but with LDN it works really differently. You would take anywhere from a quarter of a milligram, 0.25, up to 4 milligrams. You don't want to take more than that because the mechanism of how LDN works is not the same as the traditional use. The idea is that it's just a tiny little bit that somehow tricks your body into releasing endorphins. And through this release of endorphins, it can improve a lot of different conditions more than you would see with traditional medication. Because naltrexone is already an approved medication, you don't really see as many studies done about LDN. There's not really as much of an incentive for pharmaceutical companies to fund that, but there have been some studies done. Some people, if they can't get a hold of LDN, will take normal naltrexone and break it down into the correct low dose themselves. Other people end up getting it in pill form and that is not good because then you have no control over the dose. If you get a three milligram pill, then you have to take three milligrams and you can't alter it in any way. Even if you try to break the pill open, you can't be sure how much of that is actually the naltrexone and how much is just the filler. So I feel uh, very fortunate that I happen to get liquid LDN without even really understanding the implications of that beforehand. I got an info sheet from the pharmacy that said if you have any condition where you're really hypersensitive, you have fibromyalgia or ME or anything like that, you definitely want to start at a very low dose, take your time, work up slowly, and the weird thing was the pharmacy that I got it from put 4.5 milligrams on the bottle as the recommended daily dose. I'm not sure why they did that. I, it seems kind of negligent to me, but then I thought maybe the idea is so that I get more in the bottle or so that it doesn't matter how much you're taking, all patients can get the same bottle. I don't know, but definitely pay attention there and don't make the mistake of just starting with 4.5. If you're like me at all, you definitely want to start small and work your way up. I know people who start with 0 0.5 uh, milligrams or milliliters, uh, mine's a one-to-one -one ratio, so it's a, the same. So I first found out about LDN quite a while before I started taking it. I was thinking it over for a while, there was something else I wanted to try first and a lot of time went by. And finally I got back around to getting this prescription, took some time to get it, and then just coincidentally when I received it, I was dealing with this urticaria outbreak that I had. I don't think that's something that I've mentioned on this channel, but if you happen to be a Facebook friend about two years ago, you would have seen this, and it was not pretty. I called it my dragon scales. It itched insanely for six weeks. So, not fun. I had been to the ER several times, I've been to different types of specialists. All they could give me was antihistamines and steroids. The antihistamines barely made a dent. When I received them intravenously, um, the pills didn't do much. I was still scratching in my sleep. Uh, luckily, the itching started migrating after a while, so I was scratching myself raw in different areas instead of just one spot, but it was not pleasant and there was nothing else that the doctors were recommending. It was kind of just like, we've got nothing else, 
shoulder shrug, send you on your way. They're obviously not losing any sleep over it and I'm in absolute tormenting hell. So the LDN shows up, I start taking it, expecting, hoping that it will help with my energy. I started with 0 0.5 and I was really out of it, totally lethargic for the next 12 days. Basically, if there was a day where I needed to get out and do something, I would just decrease the dose to 0 0.25 and go back up to 0 0.5 the day after that. But I did notice even going on in the future, every time I increased the dose, it would take me 12 days of being totally zombified before I adjusted to that dose. But after that first time, when I upped the dose from 0.5 milliliters to 1 milliliter, suddenly I had a burst of energy and I felt great for a couple of days, which was amazing. And then I thought, well, let me just be sure that this is the LDN and not something else. So I backed off of it and it was then that I realized this insane <laughs> itching from the pseudocardia had slowly been diminishing and I thought it was just finally starting to fade away on its own. But when I stopped taking the LDN, it came back with a rage. And I realized that the LDN was actually helping there which was amazing, so I'm like, yeah, I'm all for it. I'm gonna continue taking it. That was nearly two years ago. Um, I never really noticed an energy spike after that. There was a point where I didn't have any, and it took me probably a couple months to get a refill. And what was interesting was, again, when I started, when I went from 0.5 milliliters to one milliliter, again, I had a little burst of energy for about a day. The standard they'll say is like 4, 4.5, but then you hear a lot of people saying they do better with 3. So I was trying to work my way up and just see what worked best, and then I realized that once I went up past 2.5, I felt a lot worse, so I just kept it there. Then the second time when I started taking it again, I just left it at about 0.5 or 1 milliliter. Unfortunately, I didn't see any peaks in energy during that time. I noticed when I stopped taking it, or maybe when I would skip a day or a few days here or there, I really felt fine. I was pretty much unaffected. Maybe like the second day I didn't take it, I would have a bit more energy, but I really hardly noticed a difference. Thing is, when I ran out of it for those couple months, I did have something of a withdrawal. I was coughing constantly for six weeks. It sort of felt like I had a cold, maybe the first couple weeks, but the coughing continued and it was awful and really annoying. <laughs> and for some reason, I decided to start taking it again as soon as I got the refill and just give it another try at a different dose, hoping that that would work better. Unfortunately, I eventually realized that I have been gaining a lot of weight over the past couple years and thought, well, hmm, I've also been taking LDN for the past couple years. Just over three years ago, I lost a lot of weight really quickly and it really scared me because I didn't know what was going on, if it would stop. It was more than I was really comfortable with. So I started really making an effort to regain some of that weight after that. But then, unfortunately, I kept gaining weight and I wasn't really thrilled about it, but I didn't really think too much of it. But about a year after the sudden weight loss, I went into this center that took my weight. And then a year later, I went back again, and they could tell that between that window, I had gained a lot of weight. And they had records from several years before that where they could see the weight that I was starting out at several years ago when I first moved there and that was the heaviest that I had ever been at that point and it showed that I was steadily losing weight at a healthy rate. So then when they saw that within the span of one year I had regained all of that weight that I had lost, 
they were a bit concerned and it was surprising to me because I hadn't really been fully aware of it. I knew that I had gained some weight, but I didn't really know how much. Since they pointed that out to me, I have been paying a bit more attention and unfortunately not making any effort to lose weight, but just paying attention to my weight. And I've seen that I have been gaining even more than what I originally weighed when I moved. And that was concerning to me and I just kept gaining more and more and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't stopping. I didn't know what was going on. You know, I would understand maybe going back to where I'd been before, but gaining that much really concerned me. And then I made the connection that this time frame where I've been gaining weight is the same as when I've been taking LDN. So I finally did decide to stop taking LDN and dealt with two months eight weeks of coughing this time, which really makes me wonder why I even bother taking it at all. At this point, honestly, I don't feel it's worth the hassle. I mean, I'm definitely so grateful that I had it back then, but clearly it's not doing me much good anymore. So it has been maybe about two and a half months since I stopped taking it. It doesn't seem like I've lost any weight yet, but I'm hoping that it will come. So fingers crossed on that. Obviously I can't say for sure yet, but I would be interested to hear about your experience. If you've taken LDN, have any of you noticed coughing as a side effect of withdrawal? And have any of you gained a significant amount of weight? And how long did it take you to actually start losing the weight? And did you go back to what you weighed before? Let me know in the comments. And again, Uninvisible will be having its one year anniversary in just two weeks on February 22nd. I would really love to reach a thousand subscribers by then and I know it's a bit ambitious, but if you haven't subscribed yet, please do share the channel with your friends, like the video, and I will see you guys next week.